Um, we're going to get going. It's 12.30. Um, I hope you've all managed to get a mat um, and just water. You don't need any equipment. Um, we're going to get going. Um, we're going to start down on the mat, on your back with your knees bent, up to the ceiling, soles of the feet on the mat. And we want to begin in a neutral pelvis. So eyes directly up towards the ceiling, nice open chest width across the collarbones, arms down by your side, spread your 10 fingers, press all 10 fingers into the mat. Neutral pelvis, so hip bones level, belly button, pubic bone level, a little bit of an arch in your lower back, so a gap between the mat and your lumbar spine. Knees tracking out of your pelvis, so think about the femur bones, your big thigh bones reaching to your knees, then down into your feet, pressing all 10 toes equally into the mat. You're gonna begin by taking a breath in through the nose, and then as you exhale, I want you to draw your pubic bone towards your belly button. Send your sit bones up towards the back of your knees, stab into your feet and lift your hips up. Take a nice deep breath in here, then exhale to lengthen through the sternum, Allow one vertebra at a time to come down onto the mat, bending your pelvis forward back into that neutral spine. Let's go again. So nice deep breath in. Exhale, pubic bone to belly button. Lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Stand into those feet. Send those knees away. Finding that long line from the stern and the belly button. The pubic bone sending those knees out and away. Deep breath in here. Exhale to Are you all there? Can you give me a wave if you're there? Sorry, it's a poor connection. Yeah. Are we there? Are we there? Okay, you're back. Cool. Let's get going. Okay, so still with the bridging, nice deep breath in. Exhale to pull pubic bone to belly button. Stand into the feet, lift the hips up to the ceiling. Deep breath in here, then exhale to come down again, letting everything go, let your sit bones widen. Where's the you go like that? I don't know if the connection's working. I've left, yeah, yeah, people have left. Okay, deep breath. Is your battery? Yeah. Sorry guys, something's not working quite right. My phone keeps on switching off. Sorry guys, I think you're there, but it keeps on cutting in and out. Um, okay, let me just... It's saying it's not working. End it and start again. Guys, sorry, I'm going to end it and start again. Sorry about this. Is it on Wi-Fi? Hey guys, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Let's start again. <laughs> um, Just wait for, sit, wait for a wave or something. Hi. Yeah, we've got you. Okay, let's let's get going again. Sorry about that. Okay. So neutral spine, knees tracking out of your pelvis, down to all ten toes, fingers spread, pressing all ten fingers into the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale to draw the pubic bone towards your belly button. Send your sit bones up to the back of your knees and start lifting those hips up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in here, then exhale to lengthen the sternum. Allow one vertebra at a time to trickle down onto the mat. Sending that pelvis forward again into that neutral spine. Deep breath in here, exhale, pubic bone to belly button, scooping up, lifting those hips towards the ceiling. Stand into the feet, send the knees away, start drawing those ab abdomen away from your, your leggings. Deep breath in here. Exhale to lower down. 
letting everything go, relaxing through the body, allow the sit bones to widen, deep breath in here, exhale, sit bones to the back of the knees, standing into the feet, create that space in the spine, deep breath in here, exhale to come down, let everything go, let the sit bones widen, release the glutes, release any tension in the body, Good job, nice deep breath in here. Exhale, pubic bone to belly button. Scooping, standing into the feet, lifting those hips. Good, deep breath in here. Exhale to come down again. Making sure there's still equal breath balance across all the ten toes, pressing all the ten fingers into the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, pubic bone to belly button. Lift those hips up. Stand into those feet. We're going to stay up here now. So we've got a long line from the sternum to the belly button, pubic bone, reaching those thigh bones away. You're going to start by dropping the glutes down to the mat and then lifting them up. We're doing 10 of these. So keeping that neutral spine. So think about pushing the pubic bone forward and keeping that arch in the lower back. Those knees still tracking out of your hips. And nice long spine, open chest. Inhale down, exhale up. And then you got that? I don't know, I'm listening to. Sorry, G is just whacking a bowl. A four more. Good four. <laughs> three. Two. Yep. One, good, staying up here now. We're just gonna take those knees out an inch and in an inch. So imagining you've got a pull between them. Imagine resisting pulling those knees in. So even though you're bringing them back in line with your pelvis, I want you to really think, imagine squeezing on something. Keeping those hips level so that pelvis isn't moving up or down. You're just keeping it as quiet as possible. Last four, keep breathing. Last three, two, final one. Good, bring it in. We're now gonna glute drop for eight. Okay, so lowering the glutes, keeping that neutral spine, stand into the feet, knees still tracking out of the pelvis. Good, last five, four, Open chest, softening the muscles in the face. Three, hey, Gigi. two, one. Staying up here, we're going to take those knees wide and in for six, for five. So, starting to switch on those adductors, feeling it in the calves. Three, Two, one, good, lowering those hips down and lifting them up, stand into those feet as you lift. Good. Two more. Two, one, staying up, we're gonna take those knees wide for four, three, two, one, lowering the hips for two. Good, take those knees out for two, one. Good, nice deep breath in here. Exhale, soften through the jaw, lengthen the sternum and allow one vertebra at a time to come back down onto the mat. Okay, you're now gonna take your left knee into a tabletop position. So your left knee is tracking above your left hip and your shin is parallel to the mat. We're gonna do eight pelvic curls, so eight bridges like we've just done with this leg in tabletop. So I want you to really press into your right foot, start to draw your pubic bone towards your belly button, stand into your right foot and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Then you're going to come down again. And again, so pubic bone to belly button, scooping up, stand into the right foot and lift the hips. Coming down one breath at a time. Good. Inhale, exhale, pubic bone to belly button. Into the shoulder girdle. 
iceberg coming down. Good job guys, keep width across the collarbones, open chest, equal pressure across all five toes in that right foot. How many more bud? That's five, so three more. Three more guys, feeling that right hamstring. Three, two, last one. Good, coming all the way down. Good job. Though. Place that left sole of the foot down, and then we're going to take that right leg into the tabletop position. So, arms down by your side, eye line directly up, deep breath in, exhale, pubic bone to belly button, start lifting, stand into that left foot to help lift the hips, then lower down. Good. Deep breath in, exhale to lift, keeping that right knee tracking above the right hip. Open chest. Good. Try to get you getting those hips out of the way? Yeah, I can't quite get it as high. Think about sending those sit bones down the back of your thigh, reaching for the back of your knees. It will help you lift your hips. Last two. Final one. Coming down. Good job. You can place that right foot down. Draw the knees in. Just gently rock from side to side. Just stretch out that back. Okay, Gigi? Are you going to join in? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Special guest. Okay, guys. You're going to come onto your side and you can either bend your elbow rest your head or you can reach that underneath arm long we want to have your hips stacked here and i want you lifted from the waist so lifted your lower rib cage off the mat and your waist lifted as well so our internal obliques are are working Knees are going to track out of our, um, in line with our hips and knees along the front of the mat. And we're going to start by lifting, hovering that top leg up towards the ceiling. And we're just going to hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Feel like you're pressing into the underneath leg. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. We're going to, have to start lowering and lifting that top leg. So keeping the rest of the body nice and quiet, drawing the abs in to really feel like you're connecting through the whole body. Imagine you've got an apple between your chin and your chest so that we're not flexing forward in the neck. Last five, four, relaxing the shoulder, three, two, one, hold it here. We're gonna draw a circle forward with that top knee. Imagine you've got a paintbrush on that knee and you're drawing a circle on the wall in front of you. So opening up the hip, imagine that femur bone moving around the ball and socket joint, starting to lubricate in the hip joint, just gets it moving. Last three, keep that control. Two, one, stop here. We're going back in the other direction. So it's feel like you're now. working into the back of your glute as well. So feel yourself squeezing as you lift and take it round behind you. Keep breathing, keep lifted in the waist. Keep drawing in at the abs. Two, last one, good. Holding it here and lowering and lifting for 10, nine, eight, relaxing the shoulders, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it down. Wow. Have we warmed up in that area? Yep. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, now bring those heels back in line with your sit bones. Still keeping that nice long line, still lifted in the abs and in the side. You can take those feet up towards the ceiling. We're gonna start by opening that top knee and taking up towards the ceiling. So we're getting now some external rotation in the hips and then closing it down again. We're doing 10 of these, so relaxing the shoulders. Nine. Eight. Belly button in. Seven. Relaxing those face muscles. Watch what that jaw's doing. Let that lower jaw hang. It's hard to relax your face when you're grimacing. <laughs> How many have you got back? Three more. Three. Two. One. Good. Open up that leg and then kick the leg to the ceiling. Oh. Bring the foot back and then close the knee down. So opening up. Kicking. Foot to foot, knee to knee. Keeping lifted, keeping those abs in. Good. How many of these? Ten. Oh. You still with me? Yeah. Keep still breathing. My bum isn't. How many have you got, bud? Four. Three. Stay with me, guys. Keep breathing through it. Two. <sighs> One. Good. Close it down, then lift that knee up, and we're going for 10 kicks here, what? okay? Stay with me, 10, oh, 9, 8, ah. 7, 6, that bum should be warm, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, close that knee down, bring those feet down, give that butt a little pat. Okay, bud? Torture, okay, we're just going to work on the inside of this left leg. So you're going to bring the right foot in front of you and you're going to take that left leg long. So our hips are still stacked, shoulders still nice and relaxed. We want you to pull your toes towards your knee so your foot is flexed and we're just going to lift it up and lower. So we're getting into those adductors, still relaxing the muscles in the face, staying lifted. Drawing that belly button in. We're going for 10 more, 10, nine. Try not to lower it all the way to the floor. So you're just hovering it one centimeter above the floor, reaching out through the heel. Last five, last four, three, two, one. Hold it up here, do little pulses up oh, and down. For 10, like nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Good job. Okay, before we go onto the other side, we're going to work into our arms. Are you okay? <laughs> Glute has gone numb. We're going this way. Gigi's watching us. She's on the other side of the reformer. Okay, so. Uh, wrist directly underneath your armpits, knees directly underneath your hips, neutral spine, 10 fingers spread and press out through your hands so that you're not sinking between your shoulder blades. Eye line in front of your fingers so you're tucking your chin in a little bit so you've got that length through the back of the neck. We're going to start by extending your right leg to the end of the mat and lifting it up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna drift our weight forward, start to bend the elbows, lower the chest down and reach that leg up behind you, then pressing up and then coming back again. So. Like a dog drinking out of a bottle. Yeah, so we're drifting forward, shoulders come, drift over our wrists, we bend the elbows into the waist, we kick that right leg up to the ceiling, and then we press up, come back and drift back. Let's go again, so inhale, elbows into the waist, kick that right leg up, press up, come back again. And again, drifting forward, chest and mat, up and back. Okay, so drifting forward, bend the elbows in, reach that right leg up, then you just come halfway up, we'll do little pulses for five, for four, for three, for two, 
go one, pressing up, reaching back, coming down. Good job. Okay, so left leg reaches to the end of the mat, and we're going to take it up in line with your hip. We're going to start drifting forward. We're going to start lowering chest to mat, take that left leg up towards the ceiling, pressing up, and then drifting back again. I'm going to watch you do it, bud. And then drift forward, drift forward. Reach chest up, now reach that leg up behind you. Good, now press up and drift back again. Yeah, good work. So drifting forward, chest to mat, and then coming up and back. So you just want to break? So, let's go. So drifting forward, elbows tuck into the waist, then pressing up and drift back. Okay, and again, drift, twisting. Yeah, drifting forward. Elbows get in, tuck them in. We want to isolate these triceps. Oh. And again, once more, drifting forward. Sun that leg up, then come halfway up and do little pulses for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Pressing all the way up, drifting back. And that knee can come down. Oh. Good job, guys. You okay, can do now. Okay, now you're gonna take those arms a little bit wider. And you're going to bring your knees and your ankles together and you're going to drop your hips a little bit. Okay, so in a long line, tuck that chin in. And we're going to start to just lower the chest down towards the mat and then come up again. Okay, we're going to do five of these. So inhale down, exhale up. Stick the, your, your tailbone out a little bit so you're not scooping under through the pelvis. Watch that head hanging. And then we're gonna go for one more. And come halfway up, we do little pulses for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Press all the way up. Good job. How are we for time? We still need to do one more set of these, but. Um, got three, but I missed the start, so. Okay, we're gonna do all of that again, one more set. Okay, so bringing those hands in close together so they're directly underneath the shoulders. We're gonna reach the left leg long first this time, take it up towards the ceiling. Start to drift forward, tuck elbows into waist, take that left leg up to the ceiling, press up and drift back again. So drifting forward, chest to mat, reach that left leg up, press up, Drifting back, and again, so forward we go. Tucking that chin in, and tuck those elbows into the waist. Good, drift. Abs are in, exhale up. Good, on this one, we're going for a little pulse. So, take it down, reach that left leg up, little pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Pressing up, drifting back, draw that left knee in. Good job. Okay, so let's reach that right leg to the end of the mat, take it up towards the ceiling. Start by drifting forward, tuck the elbows into the waist, chest to mat, exhale up, drifting back. Sorry, I forgot my leg then. So drifting forward, chest to mat, reach that right leg up. Your leg kind of counterbalances the movement. So does make it sometimes slightly easier. So drift forward, lower down. And again, so drifting forward. This time we're gonna come halfway up, do little pulses for five, four, three, two, one, pressing up and drifting back. That right knee can come in. Give those wrists a little bit of a rest. Then you're going to take them wide, so take them to the outside of the mat. Send those knees a bit further back, and knees and ankles are going together this time. Slightly sticking your tailbone out, so you've still got a little bit of an arch in that lower back. Pressing out through the hands. You're going to lower the chest down, <laughs> and lift it up. Push it down. <laughs> Inhale down, <laughs> exhale up. Hey Gigi. So low down. Exhale up. Is that fun? Draw the abs in. Okay, on the next one, you're going to go halfway. But don't stop. Oh, that's my wrist. Oh, 
Up and down, do little pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Pressing up. Then just come back, sit on your heels, and release the wrist. Sorry, G's here today. She won't be with us tomorrow. Her sleep patterns have all gone a little bit awry today. So she's usually in bed now over her lunchtime sleep. Okay, guys, come on to your right side. We're just going to finish off working that left glute. So knees coming in line with your hips. Hips are stacked, being lifted off the mat. Chins in line with the front of your mat. Relaxing the shoulder. Let that lower jaw just drop away from the upper jaw. And lift that top leg up towards the ceiling. We're going to hold it here. Draw those abs in for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna lower and lift an inch. Keep breathing, keep soft in the face. Keep relaxed and soft in the shoulders. Last seven, six, you still with me? Yeah. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Pause there, we're gonna draw a circle with that top knee. Imagine that faint paintbrush. Feel it deep into that glute. <laughs> Being whacked in the head, thank you. Last five, keep this slow and controlled movement. Four, keep breathing. Three, two, one, let's change direction. You might notice that you've got one hip that doesn't move quite as well as the other hip. Watch that head dropping. Keep that space between your chin and your chest. Last five. Last four. Last three. Two. One, hold it here. We're gonna do little pulses up and down just to finish it off to really feel that burn. Last eight, seven, are you still lifted? Six, five, are you still soft in the face? Four, three, two, one, lower it down. Good oh, job. I find that side better than the right side. That's good, okay. Bring those heels in line with your sit bones. Leave the knees on the mat. I'm going to take the feet up towards the ceiling. Start by opening that top knee and closing it down. Watch yourself. Make sure you haven't dropped down. Stay lifted. Keep that, those abs in. Good. Six. And keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, let's bring that kick in. So kick the left leg up, foot to foot, knee to knee. Let's do this, guys. Last little push. Uh, don't like this one. Five. Four. Sorry if you can't hear us today. Three. <laughs> Two. One, good. Now let's go for 10 kicks. Nine, eight, stay with me, guys. Ah. Six. Ah. Sorry, six. Jeez. Five, four, three, two. Reach it out. Oh. One, good. Nice. Bring that knee down, drop the legs down, give that butt a nice pat. Come and sit. Cross legs. Do the little thing underneath. Oh, yeah. Let's do Last little thing underneath. You nearly got away with that one, did you? Didn't we? Get a little bit of a distraction. Right, bring that left leg in front of you and flex the foot. So draw the feet up, knee, um, toes up towards the knee. I'm going to lift that top leg up and hover it down. So still stay lifted in that waistline, connecting the lower ribs to the hips. Good. Reaching it up and down. Last seven. Think about length. Imagine me pulling your leg out of your pelvis. Good, last five. 
four, if you can see yourself in the camera, three, two, one, hold it up here, little pulses, little pulses, get into that inner thigh, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower it down, good job guys, we are done, thank you so much for joining us, goodbye. As always, if you have any questions, please message us um, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good stretch after that, move around. Um, sorry, that 25 minutes went so fast and I'm sorry about the connection at the beginning. We'll see you tomorrow. See Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye.